Hello, good morning, namaste. Thank you for being here with me today. Hope to find you well wherever you are in the world. I am in Pai, in the north of Thailand, close to the border with Myanmar. Moving really soon, so I'm trying to take the opportunity to be in such a beautiful place, peaceful, to share with you some yoga classes. Today we will talk about constipation. So I want to share with you what you can do, some uh, habits that you can have and some asanas that you can do even on your bed to help you if you feel constipated, if you cannot go to the toilet. Of course, it's always better if you go to a mat and you do your yoga on your mat for a lot of reasons. But I know how life is, I know how difficult it is, for example, for a mom sometimes to have time to go to the mat, even because if the children see, uh, they will join. And sometimes in the bed, you can do it without no disturb no one. It's like if you were sleeping, but you are doing your practice to help you with your belly, with your uh stomach so this is what i want to bring you today the first tip i want to give you is a ayurveda tip it's good if you start your morning drinking warm water if possible with lemon if you don't have any gastric problem if you have gastric problem don't put the lemon just drink the water but warm water really helps our intestine to work better and sometimes constipation is about uh, dryness of our, our intestines it's because we are not drinking enough water or we are drinking cold water and cold water doesn't help it's the opposite so if you start in the morning after washing your teeth going to the toilet if you start with uh, two glasses of warm water not hot just warm water if possible with a little bit of lemon you will start to work better okay then even on your bed or as i told you in the mat you can do few uh, postures to help you so let's lay down on our back as if we was in, in our bed lay down on your back on your back and now imagine that you are on your bed and we will start to bend our right leg keeping our left leg straightened and bring your leg to your chest grab your shin bone and stay here if you do this after drinking the two glasses of warm water it will work for sure stay here relaxed and now inhale and bring your head to your knee exhale down we will repeat this few times inhale head up exhale down always start with your right leg once more inhale up because you are massaging your ascendant colon so start, we start massaging our ascendant colon and then we massage with the left leg the descendant colon. Now we'll do the same with the left. Bend your knee, grab your shin bone, stay here, relax. Try to keep your right leg active. Don't lose the leg, keep straight. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Once more, inhale up, exhale down, and release the legs slowly, slowly, slowly. Now bend your both knees and bring your both legs. Add your shin bones, stay here. Breathing always through your nose, never through your mouth. And 
now inhale bring your your head to your knees exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down so you can repeat these movements more times if you have the time so we've been massaging the ascendant colon then the descendant colon and then we've been with this posture we are compressing we are squeezing our um, abdominal organs and it will help to uh to your intestines to feel pressed and release now the second posture you can do again your legs bended legs together bring your hands to the to the back of your head inhale in the center and bring your legs to your left side and look to your right side we are squeezing our abdominal organs in this abdominal twist and we are starting for the right side the ascendant colon we stay here with our eyes closed try to keep your both shoulder blades on the floor so this is a twisting posture we are twisting our lower back but at the same time we are squeezing our abdominal organs and the name of this posture is exactly abdominal twist stay here for a while always breathing through your nose inhale come back to the center and we will do the same to the other side inhale in the center and as you exhale you bring your legs to the, the right side and you look to the left and now we are squeezing the organs from the left side so helping our intestine to work better you can even close your eyes try to imagine your intestine starting to work when we bring our awareness to a, some part of the body we are bringing prana this is a secret for life when you have any tension any pain if you breathe through your nose thinking about that area and imagining that every time you exhale that tension that pain is releasing the body it really works because we are bringing prana to this area inhaling the center bring your legs to the center once more bring your knees to the to your chest stay here always breathing through your nose and trying to keep calm don't do it too fast our our body needs time try to take some time it's not a, a long class as you will see and now i invite you to lay down on on your stomach now bring your arms close to your body and try to close your hands and make fists with your hands and now bring your arms under your trunk your hands will be close to your groin and try to bring your arms as closer of each other possible release any tension from your neck and from your shoulders your shin on the floor and now inhale lift your left leg up now is the left leg the first because we are squeezing the right side of the body with this posture exhale down now with the right inhale lift your right leg up stay here breathe through your nose squeezing now the left side the left organs of our body exhale down we can keep doing one by one inhaling up exhaling down once more 
Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right leg down. We will do three times. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, down. One last time for with the right. We are not only squeezing our abdominal organs, massaging them to help them to work, but we are working in our lower back as well. It is a really good posture to release tension or pain of our lower back. And now inhale here, and we will try to do with both legs. Doesn't matter if you go too far or just a little, but try it. Inhale, both legs up. Stay, stay, stay. Exhale down. It's always with your shin on the floor. Don't lift your shin, okay? Inhale, legs up. Exhale down. And one last time. Inhale, lift your head up with the help of your hands and exhale down release your hands bring your hands close to your chest lift your chest up your feet heels looking each other toes looking apart and now bring your elbows together if it's possible and rest here your face on your hands in this makarasana or the crocodile pose and stay here for a few breaths if it's too much for you you can open your elbows now lift your body and try to come to a sitting posture and before we do our shavasana in a special way today i want to tell you that this posture Malasana or the squat pose. I'll show you. So if you are stand up, you bring your buttocks down, try to keep your spine straight. Your feet will be you can open your feet as much as you need. You can keep your feet a little bit more closed as you prefer. Usual people have problems to keep the the heels on the floor because we are not used to this posture this is the posture in india they use to go to the toilet um, this is the normal posture for the body to go to the toilet actually so if you have problems to bring your heels to the floor which is normal i used to have problems as well we are not used to this posture it's a posture used in india a lot used in india but not in our countries so you just grab a block or like a pillow and you put under your heels to help you to stay in the posture okay so no problem at all if you can't um, reach the floor with your heels or another option is you come to a wall the walls are always our really our friends and you keep your back on the wall and you stay here with your heels up it, it's it's really easier like this but what we are doing we are giving to our body the correct position to go to the toilet and is so it's like sending a sign that this is what we need to do and our body really know to read our thoughts and this is really the posture uh, it's nice to do it so after leaving your bed imagine you are doing all these things in your bed you can stay for a few breaths in this posture so we will do our shavasana instead of being a normal shavasana with the whole body on the floor we will do with our legs up so imagine if you are in your bed, I will do exactly how, how you can lift. So you come to close to the, the wall and you start to walk with your legs to the wall and start to bring your buttocks closer to the bed or to the wall. 
and stay here with your legs up you can have your pillow you can you can be without as you prefer and stay here with your hands if possible in this yoni mudra which is the womb mudra here in your belly we are helping the blood of our legs to come to the area where we need more blood circulation so stay here with your hands on your belly with your eyes closed breathing always through your nose imagining that your abdominal organs are now more happy they've been being massaged squeezed squeezed and all these movements are so important for our body for our else just stay here breathing through your nose observing your breath Slowly, try to breathe more deeply, bring your arms to the top of your head, inhale and reach your arms far away from the body, exhale, relax, once more, inhale, Straighten your arms far away, straighten, exhale, relax. Now bend your knees, bring your knees close to your chest. And now drop your knees to one side and stay here. And then with the help of your upper arm, you can come to a sitting posture but I will give you one more tip another way to uh, stand up and it will help as well to with your belly so if you are lying down imagine you are lying down bring your knees to your chest and bring your head to your knees and start to roll and rock your back on the on the mat or on your bed and you will come to a sitting posture so this rolling rock posture is really good as well for your belly so it will help as well i hope you enjoyed the class try to keep if there are not so many asanas but try to keep them in your mind and every time you feel really bad because you can't go to the toilet, drink a little bit of warm water, practice these asanas. If you don't have so much time, 
just do just once each uh, posture, but try your best, and I I promise you your your intestines will start to work better. During the day, try to keep drinking a lot of water, never cold. Why? Because our digestion need to 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 be done in a warm environment so we need to be warm to have a good digestion and if the digestion doesn't work well how can our intestines work work well so we need to help our body to have a good digestion for us to be able to then go to the toilet Thank you for being here. Thank you for your trust. Let me know if you have any doubts. I will be happy to answer. If I don't know, I will find the, the answers. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.